2013 vintage, we could, we could say it now, is really, really surprising. Really surprising for, for, for the reason that if you look at the farming season we had, honestly, uh, w when it was time to pick the grapes, it was difficult to imagine to have such quality of wine today. Um, just in few words to sum up what we had in terms of cycle, uh, winter was quite cool and humid, but uh, spring, we had in fact no spring in 2013, a lot of water, a, a large lack of sun, uh, it was a Every day it was cloudy, so difficult beginning of season. Um, the temperature we had during the blooming uh, were cold. Uh, again, a lot of water, so we have, we have lost uh, a part of the crop uh, during this moment, this key moment. Um, until the, the end, only the, the, the summer, summer was not so bad in 2013, hopefully for us. Uh, but that's true that um, in Burgundy we are used to say that September make the wine and in, in 2013 September was not good. It was again humid, uh, cold, not, not the, the, the perfect weather we, we expect, we expect uh, to make good wine. So, so at the end, honestly, uh, for a late cycle, which was 2013, because we have picked the grapes at the end of September or beginning of October, um, it was difficult to imagine to have uh, this purity, this brightness, this precision uh, uh, on the fruit, on the nose, and this quality of tannins for the reds, because uh, you have tasted some, you have a certain tenderness, a certain roundness on the tannins, which is really surprising for, for a vintage like that, for the weather we had. Um, so it's probably what, you, what I said uh, before. In Burgundy, in fact, we, we have discovered, or we have rediscovered that it's not necessary to have a perfect weather to make very good wines or very interesting wines. So, 13 for me is a, voilà, it, it's a surprise, a very nice surprise. Uh, and the first surprise, uh, it's me, because again, uh, compared to the, to the cycle, to the farming season, season we had, um, voilà, it's, we, are, we are happy. We are happy with the quality of wines. Yeah, it's difficult to compare because 13, there is many, uh, many factors which are very specific to this vintage. The first one is the crop, the, the yield. Uh, it's a very small yield in 2013. Uh, remember, we had some late frost, we had uh, difficult conditions during the blooming, so we have lost a large part of the crop. We had a big hailstorm uh, on a large area in Côte de Beaune. Uh, so at the end, we have picked a very low quantity of grapes. It's a late cycle, huh? we, we, have, uh, we have picked the, the grapes uh, end of September uh, on a fresh season, but with a good summer. Uh, when you say that, uh, to compare, in terms of, in terms of touch, uh, for me it's a, it's a vintage with the same brightness or the same balance as the 2010 or as the 2002 uh, with these um, very high quality of wines on both color, white and red, uh, which is very interesting and rare in Burgundy because often in Burgundy you have a, one of the two grape variety or color which is better as the other one. Whites are better as, ra as reds. In 2013 it's quite well balanced between the two colors. So, um, but yes, it's, it's a fresh vintage with a very classic touch uh, from Burgundy, but uh, with different things which are very, very special for, uh, in 2013. So difficult to make a, compare, a good comparison.